Have you lost your spark for life? The stress, disappointments, and daily struggles can be overwhelming. It's tough. It's absolutely okay if you feel you've done enough. Nonetheless, feeling hopeless doesn't mean you've lost your potential to be happy and healthy. Understanding the stages of losing hope is a super helpful guide through life's difficult times. It helps us reach out for support when needed and understand ourselves better. It strengthens our resilience and empathy for those who might be going through a similar situation. So let's talk about it and how you can reclaim your joy and optimism. You've got this. Stage one, discontentment. Ever felt like things aren't going as planned? Well, that's where it all begins. You feel discontent with your circumstances. You feel stuck between where you are and where you desire to be. Instead of feeling motivated to push forward, you're just numb. Stage two, isolation. As you lose enthusiasm, you begin distancing yourself because being alone is easier. You start feeling empty, losing interest in things you once enjoyed as the weight of sadness grows heavier day after day. Stage three, negativity. Negative thoughts sweep in. For example, I'm not good enough, or things can never get better. Have you ever told yourself this? You question if your goals and relationships are worth pursuing, as it all seems pointless, like you're drowning in a pool of anxiety and depression. Stage four, desperation. You are willing to do anything to escape the feeling of emptiness, even engaging in self-destructive habits like substance abuse or self-harm. Unfortunately, unhealthy coping mechanisms only make matters worse. Don't hurt yourself. There's a healthier way to deal with this. Continue watching to find out. Stage five, resignation. In this final stage, you're at your lowest. You have tried your best to hang on to hope, but the more you do, the more discouraged you are. You feel defeated. So you give up, convinced things can never get better. However, this moment, as challenging as it is, represents a life turning point. Like the darkest part of the night, just before the sunrise. Do you find these stages relatable? Like, share, and subscribe for more. How to find hope again. According to the stages of change model, individuals in the resignation phase possess blatant resilience, hope that refuses to be extinguished. Despite being overwhelmed, there is an underlying capacity for healing. All hope is not lost. And if you felt sad or even cried while watching this, it's not because you're weak you've just been strong for too long. So cheer up, this is not the end of your story. Let's explore what can surely help bring back abundant healing and joy. Step one, renew your perspective. Psychologist Ronnie Janoff Bullman suggests we tend to have an assumptive worldview where we think only good things happen to good people. However, the world is not black and white. A realistic perspective sees the world in gray. Good and bad things happen to everyone. Two, stay connected with positive people. Talk to someone or join a community that uplifts and supports you through hobbies, shared goals, and beliefs. This is effective because it takes you out of the danger zone of isolation, leading to a fresh start. Three, practice kindness. Putting a smile on a stranger's face or being the reason someone's hope is restored can boost your positivity. Four, express your feelings creatively. Engage in therapeutic creative outlets that are convenient. Write down your thoughts, take hikes, try painting, or karaoke, or visit a rage room to exert your pent up emotions. Five, find inspiration in role models. Read stories of people who have overcome depression, watch documentaries, and listen to motivational podcasts to build your self-awareness and get back up. Six, find joys in little wins. Give yourself simple tasks and reward yourself with some guilty pleasures. Try planting a seed, watering it every day, and watching it grow. 
or return to abandoned projects and complete them. Seven, seize the moment. Take control of what you can change and let go of what you can't. Rather than relying on positive thinking, focus on realistic planning. Ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? Learn from other people's mistakes and plan accordingly. Eight, seek professional support. You don't have to go through this alone. Some seasoned experts and organizations offer self-help services and resources for free. Reach out to them. Nine, be kind to yourself. There is a tendency to feel you've let yourself down. So forgive yourself for past mistakes. Replace self-pity with self-compassion. Every act of kindness towards yourself, no matter how simple, brings you closer to feeling better and finding yourself again. Your journey might have some tough times, but there are also moments of pure joy waiting for you. And you deserve every bit of it. Finally, hope isn't just something we can have. It's also something we can give. And by extension, something we can receive. So Psych2Goers, let's spread hope. How did you navigate your difficult moments? Let us know in the comments. Feeling inspired? Share your story. Your encouraging words could be the lifeline someone desperately needs. Are you losing hope in life? Watch this video. We're so happy to be a part of your story. This is not the end. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs>